Good morning and welcome to the Coffee Break Chat. Big day at the ballpark at Harbor Yard as the Bridgeport Bluefish, leaders of the Liberty Division at 5-2, and two, winners of four straight, come back to the city of Bridgeport to take on the York Revolution. And it's opening day, 7.05, first pitch is scheduled. And joining us is the general manager of the Bluefish, Ken Shepard. Ken, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I am great. It's like organized chaos over here. Organized chaos. That's my my partner Tony loves organized chaos whenever he's involved in it. And it's opening day, but you you got to be happy with the way the team. Whenever a team starts on the road, a lot of the times that sort of brings them together a little bit more than than having home games. But your team has responded so far early in the season. They have, but you know, I don't know, Mike, if I'm if I'm happier about that and being in first place, or happier that it's going to be sixty five and sunny all weekend long. Yeah, all weekend long, and it's supposed to be that way for like five or six days. So we'll, we'll the, <laughs> the weather has a lot to do uh, with what's taking place. But, Ken, I mean, ever since that you you came in and took over as general manager uh, of of the Bluefish team, I mean, you've, you've talked quite a bit about getting more and more people out at the ballpark. And a lot of the times with these games, there's much more than just a, a, a two teams battling each other out on the field. What sort of things can, can people expect at the ballpark this season? Yeah, that's, that's a true, very true statement. I, mean, I often tell people that minor league baseball really is not so much about the game of baseball, but what happens around the game of baseball. So it's really all about the affordable family entertainment that you'll find at uh, you know, at our ballpark and other minor league ballparks around the country. So we've really focused the offseason on, on trying to uh, implement an internal slogan, if you will, of get, go, generate. Get out in the community, uh, be active in the community, go aggressively after group sales business, and generate an exciting atmosphere at the stadium centered around cleanliness, friendliness, m- uh, food, music, and promotion. So uh, in relation to that last part, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, really neat things this year that we have not done in the past or in the recent past. Uh, we've got seven fireworks shows up from five last year, T-shirt, two T-shirt nights, baseball card night, backpack night, um, gym bag night, blanket night. Uh, we've got Feed Your Face Monday, $19.99, all you can eat in a seat. <laughs> all you can eat at the main concession stand all night long and a seat to the game for nineteen ninety nine. And then on Wednesdays, it will be Wacky Wednesday. Every Wednesday we'll do a different wacky promotion. Uh, one of those will be Pay Your Weight Night. We'll put a scale out front. You'll step up on the scale. If you weigh up uh, 185, we round up to the nearest dollar. You'll pay two dollars to get in that night. Oh wow! So we've wow. got we've got a lot of things uh, going on, and and as we have been extremely active in the community, and I think the community is responding. Now, is the uh, stadium prepared for this all you can eat? <laughs> uh, I think we will be. <laughs> I really do. We're going to actually have the plan is is that on those nights it will not only be the main concession stands food that you'll be able to eat all night long as part of that, but we'll also have uh, various restaurants that will be on the concourse and the food that they provide will also be a part of that 1999 all you can eat in a seat. Speaking with Ken Shepard, general manager of the Bridgeport Bluefish, leading the Liberty Division at five and two, winners of four straight. Uh, talk about some of the guys, Ken. As you said, it, it, it's yes, the, the ballpark and the attractions and the promotions, uh, but uh, it looks like a, a good group of guys on the team this time around. And then, of course, let, let's start with with getting Adam Greenberg to come back and sort of tell our listeners the story of how he's he's back in a bluefish uniform. Sure, that's huge. Uh, having Adam back in a in a bluefish uniform is something we. We had hoped we'd be able to do if he did not make it in a major league organization. And uh, Adam has uh, gained a lot of notoriety last year when um, when a film producer, an independent film producer, started a, uh, um, a one at bat campaign. Adam played one or took his first at bat with the Chicago Cubs for years back. Was hit in the head, never played again in the major leagues, and was trying to get back to the major leagues. The Marlins gave him a chance. He got his at bat in the major leagues and was struck out by Cy Young Award winner. Um, Dickey. So uh, we, we're we glad to have him back. He didn't make it out of spring training with the Orioles. There are about five or six teams that have interest in him, but not currently, probably within another month or two. So I don't, I don't think Adam will be around here all season long. And that's really what this league is all about, putting you know players back into affiliated baseball at the AAA or Major League level. And you and I, you know, we saw each other at uh, Kids Fest, and you, know, you were telling me your, your, your neighbors to the south uh, Long Island and, and some of the the players that they've had an opportunity to bring them, I and you have some real major league talent, and in Long Island's case, possibly uh, I think bona fide Hall of Fame talent. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, this league really uh, is recognized as as the premier uh, independent league in in the United States, without a doubt. And players recognize that and want to play here in order to get themselves an opportunity to get back into the major leagues or get back into high level um, affiliated baseball. So. 
this year, the starting pitcher tonight for Long Island in Long Island will be Dontrell Willis. Mm. Um, you know, big time major leaguer in the, with the Marlins and the uh, and a couple other clubs. But there have been you know major league players: Ruben Sierra, uh, Jose Canseco, um, Ricky. Um, Ricky Henderson. I mean, there's Roger Clemens pitched last year in Sugarland in this league. So definitely players recognize this league as a place to be for an opportunity to get back to the big leagues. Oh, and absolutely. And of course, the ballpark. What a setting when you come down. Uh, you got the arena to the left, the ballpark, uh, ballpark to the right, and those steps leading up uh, to the ballpark. It's a real, a real treat right here in the city of Bridgeport. It really is. Um, you know, you, you've got to really congratulate the city for for uh, really having the forethought to, to do something like this 15, 16 years ago, and then the arena fouled, and both have had success. So this is, this is a real boon not only for, for Bridgeport, but for the, for the area, to be able to have professional sports and the events that they have. And then around here we're going to have Bob Dylan in concert here in, on July 19th. So these are the sort of things that, um, you know, when you look at the investment made by the state and the city and so on, uh, that's why it, 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 does, you know, it does what it does, because it brings – entertainment dollars into the city from outside of the area so yeah it's 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 great and there's nothing like opening day i mean when you can walk into the ballpark and see that green grass and smell the popcorn and the and the peppers and onions on the grill and just hear the pop of the bat it's it's a it's a great night well said ken well well said and uh you know ken right now they got winning streak of four if they continue on a streak you're known as saying the crazier the better when it comes to types of things and you've slept in press boxes during losing streaks for former teams, will you throw something up if they continue to win? <laughs> well, if I were if I were the general manager in Camden at zero and seven right now, <laughs> I might be repeating what I had done many years ago by sleeping in the press box. But no, I don't think there'll be any of that. I, I have a wife and two kids now, so that's going to be that would be a little too much for the family. I think at this point, it's amazing what happens when we get children in the family, right? <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> but as you said, wild promotions, wild in a good way, especially for people who come out to the ballpark. They can really benefit whether it's it's all you can eat or different wild promotions. That's what these types of games are all about. Great family atmosphere for individuals. Ken, if people want to find out the schedule also when it comes to you know these promotions so they take advantage of as many as possible, how do they go about finding all that information? Well, they can go to our website, which is bridgeportbluefish.com, or they can give us a call at the ballpark at the ticket office, which is 203-210-BLUE. Uh, those are the the best ways to, or just come, come down and say hello and uh, pick up a pocket schedule and uh, you know, ask some questions. But you know, we we encourage people to come out and just experience it. Like I said, it's going to be a fantastic weather weekend. We've got a day game on Sunday. We have fireworks uh, tomorrow night, opening night tonight. The mayor is going to be out to throw out the first pitch. So it's it's just going to be uh, it's going to be a great weekend. Uh, I predict the mayor will miss to the left. I don't know. He's a big baseball fan, uh, albeit he's a Tigers fan, and I'm a Yankees fan, but, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Absolutely. Ken, thank you so much. Don't be a stranger. Let's have you on quite a bit throughout the season to sort of update people, especially when we start getting the playoffs and all that kind of stuff, all right? Would love it. Thank you. All right, Ken Shepard, as we said, general manager of the Bridgeport Bluefish right here on our own backyard, 5-2 and two to start the season, leaders of the Liberty Division, and they're on a four-game win streak. Head on out to opening night. In Bridgeport, 7:05 with a game against the York Revolution, and as you heard Ken say, the weather is expected to be just gorgeous this entire weekend. So show your support to the Bluefish. They're doing so many things in the community and supporting different activities. So return the favor by heading out there, and all you can eat that'll bring anybody out.